Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and this is a new video series that I would hopefully like to do every year, if there's enough content to be able to do it, but I love talking about technology, obviously as a YouTuber, I love technology, and obviously I get to try a lot of products throughout the year and stuff like that, so I think this video is perfect to kind of showcase everything that I liked in the past year. So these are all products, technology, whatever it may be, of things that were my favorite thing I experienced in 2022. And I'm really excited to showcase some of these uh, cool innovations of things that I've seen so far this year. And I can't wait to see what the future years bring of a video series like this. So definitely leave those comments down below and tell me if you guys like this type of video of a recap of all the technology that I liked from the past year. And if this is something you guys want to see in the future, definitely let me know. But if not, for right now, let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so the first thing we got to talk about here coming in at number 7 is the loom pad. So, uh, for those of you guys who watch this channel, you guys know I'm a really big fan of 3D content and stuff like that. And this is a 3D tablet, believe it or not, uh, one of the first that I've ever come across. And it's been a fantastic experience over the year kind of playing with this tablet. And I hope that they make a new ones going in the future. But essentially, you don't need 3D glasses to be able to watch this or anything. It's a tablet. You can play all your 3D movies that you have. They have other things in here as well, like their own photo application. So you can see photos in 3D. They have uh, an, a store so you can actually rent 3d movies as well or if you have your own you can use the player in here as well to kind of play them on your own and it's just a fantastic experience as somebody like again who loves 3d i didn't know a tablet like this existed where i could just watch 3d uh, 3d movies without glasses kind of like the 3ds back in the day but with my actual 3d movies that i have and ripped onto my blu-ray and stuff like that it's it's been awesome I've, I've been showing this to family and friends and they're kind of amazed on the 3d that you actually get with this thing it definitely does pop off the screen unfortunately obviously i can't show you on here how great this thing pops up in 3d on the screen but take my word for it it's definitely really good 3d on this tablet and i can't wait to see what they do with a future device of this but so far really impressed and really happy to add this so this is my number seven the loom pad 3d the next thing on this list coming in at number six is my Apple Watch Ultra. So my Apple Watch, I've had a lot of Apple Watches in the past, but this is definitely my favorite Apple Watch I've ever used. I love the bands that they came out with for this new Apple Watch. I love the material. I love how durable this thing is. I love the fact that this is now fully waterproof here. So it's been awesome. I actually took this everywhere to be able to use in the water and stuff like that. Took it diving and everything and it works really well. So, and I love just the giant screen that this thing has on here as you guys are looking at. It's the biggest screen on any of them. Obviously that doesn't work for everyone, but it does work on my wrist uh, pretty well. So I'm happy to have that. And just the Apple Watch in general. It's been a fantastic experience with all the new features of the Apple Watch with how big it is. Uh, with the screen size, all the new features of it, uh, the band and the, the higher speaker quality so it's louder when you're on speakerphone and stuff like that. Uh, I did a full review on this, of course, and I'm loving everything about the Apple Watch uh, even more than I did the previous Apple Watches, which is why it makes this list. So that's the Apple Watch Ultra coming in at number six. The next thing on this list coming in at number five is the Analog Pocket. So I literally just got this a couple days ago, or not a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, and it's been exactly what I hoped it would be. This is obviously, for those of you guys who haven't seen this before, this is a Game Boy of sorts that's made by Analog. They make high-end devices so you can be able to play your old retro games in highest quality as possible. And this one here lets you play your original Game Boy games, your Game Boy Advance games, all that kind of stuff kind of showcased in here. You can see I have a Game Boy Advance in here right now. Uh, on this really high quality screen, I forget the amount, uh, I forget the exact resolution off the top of my head on here, but it's uh, much, much higher, of course, than the original Game Boy. And you can play all of these cartridges, whether it be the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, uh, the original Game Boy. And then it even has adapters that you can buy for this thing, so you can play other systems as well, like the Sega Game Gear and stuff, and they have future expansions coming uh, with that stuff. So this thing has been awesome. I mean, this thing has save states, of course, which is a big deal on why you would want to do it. And it uses your real cartridges. And you don't have to worry about, like, if you're playing the original Pokemon game, your, your battery dying in the Game Boy cartridge. You can just have save states on here. But more importantly, why I'm so happy with this thing is because it makes the Game Boy games look so much better. Uh, if you guys take a look here real quick, I'm going to, uh, if I hit play cartridge, you can see here it gives you uh, some detail. There's still some things that they're working on in the OS to make it even better. Uh, but right now the game detail screen tells you exactly what game is in there. You can just go ahead and hit play. All of these different things on here. And this is the Game Boy Advance. So it doesn't take up the full entire screen. But there are a lot of different options on here for scaling depending on how you want the things to look. Uh, I believe I left it on last time to take up the full resolution of the screen just so you guys can look at it. So it kind of stretches it out. But of course, you don't have to do it that way. 
you can go into the settings here as you guys are looking at and kind of look into the OS and you can go into systems, go into GBA, you can go into video and then you can change it to the display mode where it changes like the way that it looks. So you got the original, original GBA, you got the analog, which kind of brightens the image there a little bit, which is cool. Um, and then you could do the size and position. So I can change the size and the width. I can reset it to default uh, right here. So if I reset it to default, you can now see in the background here that it's not taking up the full screen. It's just taking up the screen as it would on a Game Boy Advance. Of course, if you're playing Game Boy Color and, and stuff like that, it would take up the full entire screen because it's the exact resolution of the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color. But when you play games like Game Boy Advance and stuff, since this is a, a square 4x3 screen, of course it doesn't take up the exact screen real estate with the black bars. But it makes the games look so much better than what they've ever looked like before as you guys are looking at here. It's really sharp. I don't know if it's coming across in the video here. But it definitely makes the Game Boy Advance games and the Game Boy Colors uh, games just look fantastic. I mean, look. Look at the vibrancy of this. Definitely way better than anything that I've seen on my original Game Boy Color and anything like that. Uh, and makes playing these games kind of feel new all over again. So really, really happy with the analog pocket and enjoying playing Game Boy Color games the way that they were always meant to be played without needing a backlight anymore with this thing. So analog pocket coming in at number five. The next one on this list coming in at number three probably isn't going to be a shock to anyone, and that is, of course, the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck coming in at number four. Obviously, it is a handheld PC. I mean, what more do you need to say about this thing? This thing has been awesome since the day I got it. It's exactly what we kind of all wanted it to be. I mean, you can literally have your Steam library at home on your PC and then carry those games that you've already purchased on Steam and not have to repurchase them again and kind of play them in a handheld device that's really, really powerful. And you can play most of these games on either medium or high settings, all the current games. I hope that the Steam Deck is really successful for them so we can see iterations on this every two to three years so we get a more powerful hardware to kind of keep up with the current games. But this is exactly what we want. I mean, I love my Nintendo Switch and stuff like that that I've had for the last few years. But obviously having to rebuy games that I already own on PC to get them on the Switch has not, you know, obviously is annoying. So being able to have, have something like this where I can come home, play on my most powerful platform, which is my PC at home. And then when I'm on the go, being able to play all of these games on the go very easily has been awesome. The fact of how open this system has been since the very beginning where you can install Windows if you want or use the SteamOS platform. They've constantly updated it. I mean, this thing has been uh, so far have been amazing and I can't wait to see this platform evolve but it's easily been my favorite handheld of 2022 and I've been using this thing a lot so Steam Deck coming in at number four the next one here coming in at number three is something called the last game board so if you guys haven't been watching my channel where I've been talking about this and you guys are wondering what this is this is basically a gaming platform for board games so what this is is this is a giant 22 inch screen that we have here and we have all these different board games that they released now remember this thing is still in beta uh, you can pre-order your device down below if you want I'll have a link in the description uh, but basically this comes out at some point next year, but there's a lot of us who have beta units already kind of helping them test the OS and test these games out. So it can be as rock solid as it could be when it actually goes out to the general public back next year. And I've had it and I've been having a ton of fun with this thing. This is my favorite device, uh, one of my favorite devices of 2022, obviously. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in 2023 when they keep expanding it. But right now, as you can see, we have different games from different board games that we all know. Uh, Cat Lady, like uh, Cat Lady, which is a great game. They have uh, their own games that they've made, like Anagram and Depict It, which is great. Downforce, which we recognize. Koi is one of the new games that they added here recently. We have things like Mystic Veil, Night of the Ninja. Uh, all these different games. we got Stop Thief, Transforming Mars, The Color Scheme, uh, all these different things. Vidi Culture, Wings of Glory, Zombie Dice, all of these different things. And what makes this device really cool is, of course, that you can actually play these games locally with eight, play with eight players around you. So the whole idea is that this set kind of be your centerpiece at the table. It's a large 22-inch screen. You can have eight players around the table. Everyone has their own, like, player board over here at the corner. Everyone logs in with their companion app. So if you have games that you're playing that are you know, showing dice or card information that needs to be hidden. You kind of have your iPhone in front of you to play that, and then you have the board here in front of you. It's so much fun. I've done a lot of videos on this on gameplay, and I'll continue to do that going forward. It's definitely... It's definitely one of my favorite devices of this year, and I might even climb higher next year, depending on how the future holds, because they're obviously always adding new games to this. They're always improving it and updating the OS, because we're still in beta, and there's a lot of potential for this thing in the future with online gameplay, which they started to do as well, with some of these games where you can play from with other people, uh, from game board to game board. Some of the games even have cross-play with Steam players, so there's a lot of potential here. They have a lot of board game publishers on board, so... 
I'm really, really excited uh, for this as someone who loves board games, and it's been a, a, a lot of fun to be able to play this with my family and friends so far as going through the beta period. And again, can't wait to see what the future holds of this thing. But if you guys want to find out more gameplay and videos, definitely look at my channel because there's been a lot of those that I have created. So the last game board coming in at number three. The next thing that we got to talk about here coming in at number two is these glasses right here. And these are called the Unreal Air glasses. Now, as somebody who loves VR and AR on this channel, when I first heard about these and everyone kept talking about them on how cool they are and stuff like that, I had to kind of try these for myself. I did a full review on these already and this is what ar glasses are going to look like in the future i mean just look at how thin this thing is here uh right here these are the ar glasses right here and basically what happens is is that there's a USB C cable here on the left hand side and you can plug this in and you can plug this into a variety of different things like i've done it on the nintendo switch plug it into the steam deck that i talked about earlier you can plug it into your iphone to your android phone all these different things and essentially what happens is you get a large 120 inch projection screen in front of you and it really looks like it's a 120 inch screen let me let's clarify how how it definitely looks real to your eye that you're actually looking at that screen and these are oled screens so this is a 1080p oled screen so this is going to be better a better screen than some people are even using in their homes and it looks fantastic and what's awesome is that this is portable so if you're at a family or friend's house you're at the airport you're on an airplane and stuff like that to be able to connect your phone and watch netflix or connect your nintendo switch and play games on a large 120 inch screen it is a fantastic experience everybody that i've shown this to so far has thought the same thing and i've been using this every day sometimes i'm in the bedroom and i have my 55 inch sitting there and sometimes my wife wants to want something on there and now uh you know before i used to be like damn now i gotta give up the tv nowadays with these things if she wants to watch something cool these have built-in speakers on the side right here they're not the greatest speakers in the world but they are built in which is awesome and you can just plug these into your iphone and i'll be watching whatever show i want to or playing whatever game i want and she can continue doing what she's doing and of course you can connect bluetooth headphones and stuff to whatever device you're connected to and do it that way and not use these speakers but these speakers are not half bad i've been using them a lot for tv and and they definitely do what you want them to do and the reason that mine have these little pop out here uh these are my lenses because i obviously wear glasses so i actually got these uh, from a company which i'll be talking about later this week on the channel uh these lenses so you can actually have prescription lenses right in here with the inserts and then if you wear glasses you'll be even better than you were before than wearing glasses over this but this is uh, a really really awesome product that definitely gives you the kind of uh an inkling on what the future of ar can hold because obviously the video is kind of overlaid over your real world or you can use these these black things that i had on here before that kind of black everything out so you can have even better colors and contrast and just kind of black that whole thing out but it's been a fantastic experience with these glasses and i can't wait to continue to use these and see what the future holds for the unreal company because they're doing great things and it's my second favorite thing that i have used in 2022 and the last thing, of course, we're going to be talking about here coming in at number one is the Oculus Quest Pro. I mean, I've obviously done a full video review on this already. We all have seen a lot of videos on the Quest Pro. Don't mind these giant headphones that are on the side. Uh, these are headphones that I got from another company uh, for the Quest Pro. You can see that video that has been posted at this point. If you guys want to see, these are the best sounding headphones I've ever used in this style for any VR headset. And they can be used on other headsets, not just the Quest Pro and different head straps and stuff. But that's a different video. But the Quest Pro, even though there's been a lot of people saying that it's not worth the full asking price or the full price tag, uh, even if that may be true for everyone, uh, it is still the best experience you can have in vr with the quest catalog today i've not picked up my quest 2 obviously since i had this the lenses are just vastly superior the controllers are, are obviously much more improved and have even higher fidelity and better haptics in them uh the the color pass through is even though it's not perfect and what we want to see it improved is still a lot better than it used to be on the quest 2 and i can't wait to see these lenses be kind of being ported over the facial integration that you can actually see your facial expressions and the eye tracking and stuff as somebody who loves social vr is fantastic and i hope more more apps keep taking advantage of that so yes this headset is not for everyone uh, unless if you're a youtuber or just want the highest nvr device you can get for the quest catalog but i'm still having a ton of fun with it and it's my favorite device of the year because obviously vr is one of the most favorite things that i have going on this channel i love vr and obviously anytime there's a new headset it's probably going to make my top list it's probably not a shocker to most people but i'm loving this headset here guys if you want to see full thoughts on this one definitely check it out below all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. There's a lot of cool technology that I got to try out this year. Uh, the Unreal Air glasses are something that I'm using every day. I love that thing. The last game board has a lot of promise, even though we're still in beta. I can't wait to see what the future holds for that thing. I'm having a ton of fun being in their beta program and showcasing videos for you guys and all that stuff. So that's been fantastic, of course. As somebody who loves VR, the Quest Pro, all that kind of stuff that I did and uh, that I showcased in this video are all fantastic. 
And of course, I did video reviews on almost, I believe everything in this video has a review because I obviously loved it so much. So if you guys want to see a full in detail review on any of these things or gameplay and stuff like that, you can see all of that in my channel. This is just a generic overview of my favorite technology in the year 2022. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. If you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.